All right, so this video we're checking out the Beta FPV F722 all-in-one flight controller. This is a whip style flight controller, 26 millimeter by 26 millimeter mounting pattern. Uh, comes with 32-bit ESC, so they're uh, 35 amps bursting to 40 amps. And F, again, it's an F7 chip here. Comes with six full UARTs, at least in, in, in beta flight configuration, but I'll show you what's missing in terms of the board layout. Now, it does, you can see here, it does have a uh, nice set of solder pads for all the motor wires. You can see they're nicely separated and pretty big, so it should be pretty easy to solder up. Although the some of these connector here on this side here are very close together, so you can have to be very careful when you're soldering those up. And same with these here as well. Uh, what's pretty neat about the, this one here it has a 5 volt regulator and a 10 volt regulator. Actually, I'm not sure which one's which. Uh, they're both on here. And the 10 volt regulator feeds this little connector here uh, for basically anything DJI. So it puts 10 volts. It'll obviously work for a Vista or it'll work for a full, full DJI air unit. And it has a six pin connector like this. And it has all the same six wires uh, for a typical DJI connection. And with the two UARTs, I think it's UART 2 that's on here, as well as uh, RX3 for SBUS. So that's, uh, I'll put up the little wiring diagram here for uh, this connector here, as well as some of the other wiring diagrams. I'll bring those up as well when I talk about them. Now, on the other side of the board here, not much. So this basically, in terms of connections, just have your motor pad wires. You have a whole bunch of capacitors here. So this is obviously for filtering noise and also for um, you know, filtering out like voltage spikes, that kind of thing. There's a current shunt sensor here. It says 2 to 6S. So yeah, this is, I think, uh, the previous 2 to 6S or 2 to 6S version of the WHOOP controller was F4. So this is obviously everything is going to F7 now. I'm at the next logical conclusion. So in addition to the um, uh, DJI wiring loom, you get an XD60 connector, no XD30. And this is kind of overkill, but I don't know if uh, you'll, what you're going to be flying this on at 35 amps to 40 amps. I think the XD30 will probably be uh, good enough for most, um, you know, lighter five inch type of applications. And you have an additional capacitor here, uh, 470 microfarad, 35 volt. So that's for additional voltage spike handling. And you get, uh, Six uh, M2 screws, some nuts, nylon nuts look like, and some rubber grommets for mounting. That's for these holes right here. So this side here just basically have the current shunts. Uh, looks like you have a couple diodes here and a whole bunch of capacitors. Of course, you have your FETs and the uh, EC controllers on the bottom. No uh, conformal coating that I can see, so you might want to do that if you're going to be flying on wet grass. You want to do conformal coat the whole board once you've uh, soldered it up. So there's, as I said, there's six UARTs on this. It's typical for an F7, but not all of them are usable. So you have here UART1, R1, T1. There's six, R6, T6. And you have RC here, which is um, RX3 and TX3 here, so UART3. And uh, RX3 is also on this uh, pinout for the DJI air unit. Uh, UR2, TX2, and RX2 are on the pin out here for the DJI air unit. And the last UR here is TX5. That's for like smart audio. There's no breakout for RX5 that I could see in here, but you could probably remap it to like a LED pad if you have a lot of components. So the next thing, nice thing about uh, using an F7 versus an F4 is you have more UARTs available to you instead of having to use soft serial. Um, you know, for example, if you have a crossfire, then you need one UART for that. Uh, DJI, another UART for that. And then GPS, you need another UART for this. So you need these three UARTs. I know that you can get away with two hard UARTs and then putting like GPS on soft serial or or Vista or DJA on soft serial. You could do one over the other. But with this, you you know basically have everything you need um, without having to worry about and needing extra UARTs. Not for uh, UART 4, I don't see that broken out here on the board anywhere. And usually that's like ESC telemetry, but it doesn't seem like this board supports ESC telemetry, at least as, as far as I can tell. And so that doesn't appear on anywhere on the board here that I can see. 
All right, so here's how much the board weighs. About eight grams. I think uh, the specs are a little bit less than eight grams, but this is what my sample weighs. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this before I stick it into a build. It's going to go into a lightweight five inch build. It's a custom frame that I uh, designed with um, the Drone Club, and you guys haven't seen it yet. So um, you got to wait for that video for this to be in that build. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to come out, probably within the next couple of weeks. Uh, but this ought to be fine with them. And just uh, for reference, I will be using the new FPV Cycle 2203 motors on that build. So it should be perfect for this uh, 35 amp EC and that build for 5 inch. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.